Welcome back one and all, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Tyranny. Where we left off last time, I was just making sure that our video recording was working. And it is, so we are in this room full of runes and buttons. I'm guessing this is some sort of puzzle? I'm going to press that one and see what it does. Okay, so that one opened that weird door that we couldn't figure out how to open. Good, we got one down. Uh, let's try red. No luck. And uh, apparently made things mad. So let's go fight them. Come back here. Holy crap, that chain of fireballs was pretty amazing. Alright, so that takes care of that first patch. Try again. Ambir? Nope, that's round two. Hello, Skurg. Are we still on fast mode? Oh yeah, we are. I was wondering why everything was moving super duper fast. All right, two down. Try the blue crystal on the left beacon. Thanks, Chief. Process of elimination. No, Let's I want to fight off. the last ones. We're still on fast mode for some reason. There we go. Okay. Two malices. It's a little bit. Uncalled for. Those fireballs are so cool, but they don't do a whole lot of damage, actually. As you command. How about just fight? All right, six. That one's near death. So probably just. Start working on the next one. On it, right. Or though maybe we should kill it before it does something weird, like heal up for some reason. There we go. Just making sure that we don't have to run into multiple enemies. And did she get Yes, she did. Siren is now actually up a level. And needs more spells. Someone staunch my bleeding! You're fine, Barrack. Stop whining. Uh. Oh. Okay. No other way. Now, let's level her up. She's gonna. She gets spells. Spell damage increase, and we get a new talent. Are we of dissonance, perhaps? Yes, that one sounds kind of good, actually. And disarming guys. Uh, large bonus in disengagement. Or slows her vocal progressions, reducing the speed of her songs and causing her stanzas to last longer. What happens if you have both? <laughs> I don't know which one it would do. Well, we're going to go with Dissonance anyways. We'll figure that out later. There is a box. Time to lighten my step. Inside that box is another box. Inside that box is another box. And we just failed. Inside that box is a flea. A tiny helpless flea. That we need to smash with a hammer. I'm sure that everyone's like, that? what the hell is he talking about? And if you are saying, what the hell are you talking about, then you need to go watch The Emperor's New Groove. So, that's just all I'm going to say on that topic. Emperor's New Groove, that's your homework. If you haven't seen that movie, it's hilarious. And I would be sad that you hadn't seen it. Okay, there's a thing on the wall, and... A fancy bow called a grave bow, which... Does exhaustion? What's that? Crit gives a whole bunch of negative defenses. It's also an artifact weapon and has a thing called chromatic arrow. Now, you know, that would be pretty cool. We have absolutely nobody that uses that currently. You know who's not in our group? Reverse. Why does fast mode keep activating on me? Oh, our main character leveled up again. Eric might die. He'll be fine. <laughs> I 
There we go, everything's dead yet again. Seems to be our only job is to make everything dead. Now we have a sigil of spell surge as well. We're going to have to redo all of our spells eventually, but we're going to do that later. I'm not in a huge rush to do that right now. Um, I think I want more... Accuracy? Resolve, perhaps? Resolve does help lore. What else helps lore? Wits help lore. That doesn't. That definitely doesn't. So resolve, which also helps two-handed weapons for... Why does resolve help two-handed weapons? That's really weird, but you know what? Okay. I accept. Uh, so we have four points so we can get down to the next tree resurgence. Point to a fallen enemy and command them to rejoin the battle. Which is neat. Swap positions. Killing rush. Everyone in the party regains a small portion, regains a portion of their maximum health when a party member kills an enemy. Could be good. Um, or resurgence. He's usually the one that dies, but I think having a second res could be useful. Let's be now, I think we have all of the things we need. And we are going to go back to the main hall and do the Havoc fight. I'm sure it's going to be just a nightmare. <laughs> the first one was brutal enough. This one probably scaled up higher, so it's going to be brutal. I'm almost certain of it. Okay, so... Where are we? We're not in the right area. We're in Old Walls West. This is not the right place. We need to go back to the main main area, not the second main area. Or tertiary area if you wanted to get pedantic about it. Actually, it's more of a secondary area. Tertiary area would be like most of the side quests. No can do. They go into their own separate tiny zones. Like, like getting the sword was kind of a tertiary area. That was a cool area, don't get me wrong. Whoops. Okay, so we have three stones to put on three things, and then we're going to be doing the Havoc fight. I keep quick saving for some stupid reason. Why do I keep quick saving? I don't know. It's not like anything's happening right now. What am I doing? Get back here. And why is it always going on fast mode? It worries me why it keeps doing that. Is there like an auto fast mode feature that I should know about? Da, no, no. Okay, I don't know. We'll keep our eye on that. Not too important right now. Quick save here. Interesting. Is it reasonable to describe an ethereal cloud as angry? Because I think you're making it angry. I think I'm making it angry too. How did she get there? That. We have to deactivate the spirit trap now. Or Actually. Appears one breath away from collapsing. Since being sensible and abandoning the scars aren't options, might I suggest drawing our blade? Right. How do I deactivate the spirit trap? Oh, I have to press that button. I'm actually going to wait till we get our cooldown back on this before doing that. I will quick save really quick. And we can try and do this fight, hopefully, without too many casualties. Oh man, we'll make this faster. In about 30-ish seconds, we'll be starting the fight. In the meantime, let's talk about upcoming games. Planescape Tides of Numenera is slated for an early 2017 release. It's been in early access for a while. We will be doing that game right away. Again, I haven't played the early access of it because I didn't want to ruin it for myself. And we will be doing that one together on the hardest difficulty like normal. That one apparently is much more talking oriented, although combat is definitely always a means to an end. 
you are supposed to try and be more talky in it. Time to fight. What's our time looking like? We are at 10 minutes, so we got some time to do this fight. I might have to pause the video to run downstairs. Somebody's coming to pick up a keyboard that I'm selling on Kijiji. Right. So when the doorbell rings, I will quickly run out and deal with that. Is it Ro? It's not Ro. Is it Citrin? No. Is it that one? No. Is it Ameth? Is it... Are you sure it's not Citrin? Oh, the button's there. I'm just stupid. Okay. Okay, let's press the button. It is definitely a Havoc. Bear, go fight that. My main character is going to go wait for enemies to pop out. You'll have to get to me Come on, these things always pop out at some point. Nope. As nope, you nope, nope. Barrack, what are you doing? Fight! These guys are not meant for anything except being cool and healing. And apparently running straight into melee. Uh, let's just normal attack then. There we go. That's where they are. Scourge first. I missed. Seriously? Sorry, can't can't do that. Oh, it died. Uh, you should probably heal yourself. I'll take care. Chain healing style. What are you doing? Don't run off and do stupid things. Oh, I could also move out of that attack. That would probably be helpful. Okay. Who else has chain healing? She does. She's standing, so that's a good sign. So I move her out of combat. And let's try and hit the havoc again. Okay, next round. Let's try and hammer this thing down. I want that havoc dead, like right now. Will do. Yay, it died. Next one is that wisp. Okay, who's got healing up? Let's get Lantry to heal up our group. Because that's like 99% of his job. Okay. Now, there's two malices. This is a little bit harder. Oh, don't be feared, please. Of all the times to be feared, this is not that kind. Of time. Okay. That hurt. Let us... You heal her. She hasn't chain healed yet. Where are you going? What happened to, you know, hitting the thing like I mentioned? Alright, you can't chain heal yet. You can, though. I have no potions. Oh, hey, we killed the Havoc. I need to uh, pause for a sec. Someone's at the door. I'll be right back, guys. Okay guys, welcome back. Sorry about that. I had to finish my little sale really quickly. Uh, oops. 
Looks like we lost a character, which is actually a perfect time to showcase our new ability. Not that one. Not those ones. Where is it? Not thrust. Resurgence, that's the one. Let's get her back up. See? Cool. We now have a res. And maybe you could throw out a heal on her just so she doesn't die. That would be pretty good. So we've about half an hour left on this video, I checked the time while well, I was finishing up the sale of the keyboard. And so, once we finish this, we can actually finish this place technically. Uh, so if we quickly grab the body... Both bodies, actually. There was a note on that one, we should have checked that out. What was it? Um... Could be under here, or it might have been just a scroll. Sage scroll fragment. Oh no, we already. Oh, okay, that was the thing we looked at earlier, right? Uh, there is a steadfast insignia which we needed. A couple peridots, an aquamarine, and a hide. Sadly, you know what? There wasn't any sweet loot, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to go upstairs solve the puzzle before we go out and hand this quest in and then we have the insignia we needed to get through the uh, edict of storms once we do that we're golden we're going to be really really well off all right going through this My dog is just barking up a storm tonight. I don't understand it. Usually he's so good and so quiet, but he's just being the barkiest today. I don't know if you guys can hear him. Probably not, because this microphone is actually a pretty good microphone and it's very good uh, in terms of directional sound recording as opposed to blanket sound recording like some other microphones are. Actually, most condenser microphones are directional. That's just the way they are. They're supposed to be that way. Omnidirectional microphones are good for some things, but they are not good for voice recording generally. Alright, so here we are. Let's take a look at our thing. Uh, the Ocean Spire rubbing. Oh, it's an easy one. It looks like a spider triangle. Now, is that the far side one? or? If okay. we knew what glyph we needed, I'll bet we could unlock this puzzle. You know what? We got that covered. Don't worry about it, Siren. Okay, and then we need to go straight up on both sides. And then we do the little loopy things here, like that. And then I guess we just go straight like this. And then this one to there. Perfect, let's claim this one. That's a cool sigil, I like that. And now we load up the top. Everything is coming out us these days. We have all of the spires activated now. That's pretty good. And this one becomes an infirmary if I'm not mistaken. Although I will admit I'm not entirely sure why I need an infirmary. But that's okay. I think there was supposed to be sound there, but I'm not hearing anything. Um... Well, the now familiar light of the spire courses skywards trailing... Hang on. Do my headphones that come out? No? I don't know. The now familiar light of the spire courses skywards trailing off towards the horizon in the direction of Vendrian's well. You feel the ground beneath you fall away as given to the warmth of the energy surrounding you. As you give in to the warmth. You're, they're missing a word there. The ocean spire in blade grave feels weathered and battered like the flag that has whipped in the high winds beyond its intended duration. Perhaps in spite of this, the connection formed with Vendrian's well is strong, almost overwhelmingly so. My armor feels lighter. I was at the front lines during the devastation of Stalwart. From on high, the realm feels less significant. There was a running wager at the Vellum Citadel. How far southwest one can sail before reaching the end of the ocean? From here, I'd guess forever is close to the right answer. 
Looking out at the expanse of ocean to the south, Lunch removes his quill in a hurry or harried rush as he sketches the blue-green panorama. I knew the world was huge, but you can never really understand the extent of it until you see it from this high. How far does that ocean reach? We can only build the infirmary. Infirmary. Blech. And I'm going to check why my sound is not working. Maybe I should tab back in. And the game crashes. Super. Oh, it's a Windows update. Ugh. Okay. Pausing. Okay. I'm re-recording this part just because uh, the sound wasn't working the first time I did it, and then there was a Windows update that shut down my computer, so that was excellent. The now familiar light of the spire courses skyward, trailing off toward the horizon in the direction of Vendrian's well. You feel the ground beneath you fall away as give in to the warmth of the energy surrounding you. As you give in, they missed a word there. The ocean spire in the blade grave feels weathered and battered, like a flag that is whipped in the high winds beyond its intended duration. Perhaps in spite of this, the connection formed with Vendrian's well is strong, almost overwhelmingly so. I was at the front lines during the devastation of Stalward. From on high, the realm feels less significant. There was a running wager at the Vellum Citadel. How far southwest can one sail before reaching the end of the ocean? From here, I'd guess forever is close to the right answer. Looking out at the expansive ocean to the south, Lantry moves his quill in a harried rush as he sketches out the blue-green panorama. I knew the world was huge, but you never really understand the extent of it until you see it from this high. How far does that ocean reach? Far, probably. We are building the infirmary. It is the only one left. And actually, we're going to end the video after that, I believe. No, we have lots of time. Never mind. Sorry. For some reason, I thought we were approaching the end of our video. No, we have like 20-ish minutes left. We have claimed all of the spires. And let's we've also gained a level, apparently, on Beric. And there's an alchemist here, so let's talk to him. Welcome to the Spires Infirmary, Fatebinder. As you can see, we have everything in order and under control. The alchemist nods and smiles. What can I do here? If you wish to craft potions, we have an alchemy station nearby. We are, of course, producing a modest supply of potions ourselves. You have but to ask, and I'll show you what we've made. What do you got? We have nothing for you at the moment. Okay. Let's see who we can buy. There are several recruits. Rare potions. Hired. I like him. Uh, control emotions. Control life. Magic staff. Eh. Large collection of poisons. Many of them illegal. Welcome to the, the uh, tower. Uh, potions to take into battle. Supplies to create potions. Yeah, okay. Lore. I like lore. Let's do him. That sounded awkward. Okay, so we have a couple people hired. And there's some loot here for us to get. What's that? Sigil of Selfless Magic. I'm guessing that's a different type of healing. I'm hoping, anyways. We'll find out. That is a station. That is a... Whatever that was. Vials? Some sort of potion vials. Looks like Kills in Shadow is just chilling here. So is Ebb, of course, and uh, Verse as well. I think that's Verse there. But we, I'm pretty happy with our group right now, so we're gonna, we're just, we're fine with those at the moment. Um, before we go anywhere, let's take a look at what we have to do. So there's two items waiting for us at the Mountain Spire. There are six at Sunset Spire at Lethian's Crossing, which is the Forge. Uh, two at the Stone Sea one, which is our Training Grounds. And four at our Dawning Spire, which is our Library, which may include um, the artifact we had uh, requisitioned Artifact pattern, I should say, we requisitioned. So let's go there first. It was that one? Yeah. That sounds about right. Luckily, it takes no time to transport around these towers. The only thing it does cost us a little bit of loading time in terms of loading screens. I know. Kind of annoying, but at the same time, it's much better, I find, so far, than the Pillars of Eternity stronghold. What's the status? I've made great progress. He beams at you and exhales a welcome breath. Allow me to show you my findings. 
plans for a Deathbringer. What? That sounds amazing. Let's go to the forge and see what it is. Uh, I want you to research something again. More artifacts. Go. What do you mean? Oh, I only had to research artifacts once and it just keeps going? Your recruits are busy researching research. Okay. Fair enough. If you're still doing that, don't even let me bother you. Let's go see what this Deathbringer is. If it's a 200 axe, it's made. made. I'm going to make it right away. I don't care what it costs me. It could cost me all the things in the world. And I would still make a Deathbringer because it sounds cool. And if it's a 200 weapon, it's going smack dab on our main character. Unless it sucks. Oh, my recruits have done stuff. There we go. They got three of each. I found these plans in this metal in old walls. Can you make this for me? Those are the plans for Scorn, and you have the metal we need to make it. Okay, uh, why don't you forge something? Let's take a look. Okay, well, Scorn is a spear, slash javelin. It is plus one resolve and goring. It's pretty fancy, actually. It's an exquisite weapon. But what's Deathbringer? Oh, Deathbringer can be a one-handed or two-handed weapon. We do not have the materials to make it. We need an obsidian fragment. We have all the rest of the pieces required. But let's see what it does. So it's only a superior weapon as base, which means we'll have to upgrade the crap out of it for it to be really good. Uh, on crit, negative 5 vitality for 20 seconds. Pretty good. Scythe of Years. Damage all enemies in a cone, ignoring their armor. All helpful effects on the targets are removed. Damage scales with the renown. That's awesome. It's going to cost us one iron ring, though, to make. Is it worth it? <laughs> yeah, of course it is. What's the Staff of Kirin? Maybe we can make that. That requires a ton of iron as well. But what's the Evocation of Kirin? Enemies in the target area take crush damage and are petrified, while allies in the area receive a buff to Might, Vitality, and Resolve, as well as Enhanced Armor versus Crush Damage. These effects scale with the Staff of Kirin's Renown. It's a nice staff. I can, I can make it now, but on the same thing, I don't know. I think we're going to wait it out for the obsidian we need for that thing. Um, does anyone no around here tarry. sell obsidian? Oh, okay. That scared me, actually. Nothing serious. Uh, it was really weird, because I just put my... Um, I'll do it for the north. I'm going to restart that sentence because I kind of rambled off there, but I have headphones that have surround sound in them. Built in, because they're quite expensive headset. But uh, I just turned it on recently because I didn't have it on before. And I was like, why does it sound like Barrack is in my left ear only? But that would be why. Um, I mean, I guess we could stop by Aurora Spire and pick up what we have there. We may as well, and then we can continue on with our quest. It's worth taking a quick glance to see what there is. I'm willing to bet it's not going to be anything significant, but it never hurts to look. Uh, we will be doing one more video tonight. I'm actually going to take a short break to take my dog outside in the rather cold weather. But, other than that, who was the person I talked to about getting stuff? Oh, shoot. The sage before you is distracted, half muttering to herself while clutching the half-burnt remains of a scroll. Her hands are in motion, tracing curves of some unknown ruin. You suddenly hear the high-pitched cry of a carrier raven as it plummets to the ground, its feathers completely burnt away. She looks up from the noise and notices you. Well, that wasn't quite what I was expecting, but I suppose that's the risk with a scrap of the original text. She uncorks a vial and splashes its contents on the bird, which remains completely still on the ground. Hmm. I suppose it would have to be alive for that to work. Another lesson learned. She tried to healing potion it. She turns to give you her full attention, her, her smile broad and energetic. Fatebinder, I may be here to offer my knowledge, but I shall ever be a student. Unfortunate results, but truly fascinating, wouldn't you agree? I hope you won't mind the occasional experiments. Of course, I'm here to provide you with whatever arcane knowledge you seek. What other er, experiments are you doing? Must I restrict myself? Think about how much magic would go undiscovered if we had to limit ourselves. But I must confess a certain affinity for electricity applied to a wide variety of objects. Even if the results don't surprise, they always satisfy. Oh, she's the the frost person. Okay. 
Apparently someone's playing Life is Strange. That's supposed to be a great game and I still haven't played it. I probably should. Uh, like your tower... What? Okay, hang on. Fate Binder, I like your tower. The Scarlet Chorus Fighter nods and takes an appreciative survey of his surroundings. Dream Slayer at your service. And believe it or not, I came to fight you. She offers an awkward smile. His, and then she. They really gotta get their gender pronouns proper in this. I mean, she could be both, or he should, could be both, but then you should really stick with one or the other. Alright then, let's fight. Oh, I see, we're it's training, not actual fighting. Which is good, because we can actually level up some stuff, but I don't need any of those things, so... Let's be off. Not you. One-handed and two-handed weapons. I can train these here for some reason. Worth it? No, we should be getting lore instead. We desperately need more war. Or, more lore. That's what I meant. And Beric also leveled up. We still haven't leveled him up yet. Uh, Grave and Ash protects. I couldn't be more proud to stand atop the spire with a true friend of the Legion, Fatebinder. He looks out to the horizon and takes a deep breath. I've been away from home for far too long, and it's good to see the north from this vantage. Now that you're up here, what's your plan? I am an oathbound, and among other things, that means I'm a distinguished scout and hunter. I intend to do what I do best. If you're interested in pelts, it would be my honor to scour the wilderness beyond the spire and lay some traps. Anything I bring back is yours by rights. Do you got anything? Yes, he has some sweet pelts. Wait. One more quick thing before we go gallivanting out of here. We have a merchant here, right? Or is that a different tower? Why do I think it was this tower, though? No. Because I want to I actually do want to pick up the, uh, or at least give a serious look to the Tunan's Fatebinder. Uh, gear. I know it's leather, and I know that's not really what our character wears, but at the same time, the same token, we are a fate binder, and perhaps we should be wearing the armor of our people. I think that's a good thing, personally. Also at this uh, library, I think we can also uh, just learn some lore. I know somebody here teaches lore. Is it Lithos? Possibly Velos. Nope. You. The sage examines the scroll, taking in every detail of his handiwork. Did you know there are seven ways to write fire, but only two for water? He continues to examine the scroll without the slightest sign that he was expecting an answer. Could it be that fire has more meaning in our era? There is a short pause before he realizes you've actually approached him for something. Oh, my apologies, Fatebinder. I can be taken for a ride by my own trails of thought. I'm sure there is something you need from me. What have you made? Nothing at the moment. We'll ask him more about his stuff later on. I just wanted to look at that gear. Is it you, Phila? Oh, I should read this. A mage peruses the library with an amused expression. It takes her a while to notice you. Hmm, Fatebinder? I was wondering when I would meet my patron. Philly of the Forge Bound. Before you ask me what a smith is doing away from the forge, well, I'm taking a break from ironwork in this library since my taste at present. What's the plan now that you're here? I need some time away from the war effort, assembling the same swords and helmets using our intellect and art to equip an army. She shivers. The Forge Bound are masters of our craft, but we're artists at heart. This war has misused our talents. I want to spend some time among these books, recalling what got me interested in the arcane in the first place. Teaching you should fulfill a similar goal, though I won't know for certain until I get started. Where shall we begin? Lore! That's where we're going to begin. Give me all your lore. In fact, everyone's training lore. Except for you, because apparently you can't train lore here. But she can. Everybody gets lore. And Beric gets a level. Uh, I'm going to give him... Some more attack power, I think. And he's maxed out his sentinel tree, so we're going to get started on his punisher tree. Let's go with engagement attack. Whenever they engage me, I, I get an entire chance to attack them. Or do I want just straight up better damage? That's a for sure increase in damage. 
We'll do that one. We'll do the other one later. Okay. So it wasn't at those two towers. Is it at our Mountain Spire Tower? Maybe? This is the one thing about having five different bases. You never know exactly which... Well, you can never... I can never remember which place has which things. Like, I get the gist. The lore has the scroll people. The... or sorry, the library has the scroll people. The infirmary has the can healing people. Can we take people. a break soon? Yes, we'll take a break soon. Don't worry. Siren. I know we've been running around like madmen. Revos, I think you're the person I wanted to talk to. Okay, Fate Binder of Tenon Armors and stuff. So even if we upgraded it, it would be a armor decrease for sure. Like that goes without question. And this is already superior. So what's the difference between the light and that one? Why are these the same? But they look different. I guess they're just stylistic things? Now do we... That helmet has a ton of accuracy on it, holy shit. Do all of them have similar things? Plus 9% precision? Engage disengagement defense? That's just deflection. Huh. The question then becomes, do we want this new armor? I mean, our armor's pretty good, and this Dove Legend, or this uh, Fifth Eye thing is pretty good as well. But do we want to become a true Fate Binder again? Upgrade all of this junk to uh, Epic? We'll lose a ton of armor, there's no doubt about that, but our deflection will be way higher. So we may take less significant hits, but we will be taking more hits. For sure. I don't know, we'll take a look at it. We're gonna end the video here. I might just buy it all, upgrade it, and see if it's worth it, and then just reload if it's not. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, you can see what decision I've made. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.